Hello. In this video, I'm going to discuss the stork enamine synthesis. And the name is going to give away a, a situation, uh, or going to give away the answer to the question that I'm about to ask. Right? And that is, let's say you have um, cyclohexanone, and you want to convert it somehow into this molecule. another ketone over here like this um like this All right and you want to convert it into this molecule um and so you might recognize that what we have here is a situation where you have a carbonyl group that is beta to, or that is, I'm sorry, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, to another carbonyl group. And so you might kind of expect, especially if we're starting with, with cyclohexanone, you might kind of expect that we might be able to walk backwards to cyclohexanone. And a corresponding alpha, beta, unsaturated ketone as an electrophile. And then we would just do something like, oh, we'll, um, we will deprotonate lithium, with lithium diisopropyl amide. And that'll give us the enolate. Uh, and then we'll react that enolate with uh, our electrophile of choice. And hope out for the top for the best. Um, but, oops. Regular enolates like the cyclohexenone enolate are not good Michael donors. This reaction is going to give uh, nucleophilic attack. Assuming it does anything, it's going to give nucleophilic attack at the carbonyl group, and you're going to get uh, a product. Let's get move my, my conditional statement here. You're going to get the wrong product. That's going to be disappointing because you wanted something else to happen. Oh, a little better. There we go. Not what we want. Right? So we need a different nucleophile. But we, something we can turn uh, Our ketone into, and we want a different nucleophile that is a Michael donor that, that will react at the a beta position, do the 1 4 addition and not 1 2 addition. So, and as I mentioned earlier, the name of the video gives this away. We want to convert uh, our cyclohexanone into an enamine, and so we just need to react it with any ialkylamine in acid and removing water. Um, and then I, I will tell you that uh, for a number of reasons, like cyclic dialkylamines, like pyrrolidine uh, here are, are good choices. Uh, are, are often used, they're less volatile, which means they're less stinky. Uh, that means they're very smelly. And so you cycle so secondary amines when they react with ketones generate these enamines uh, and now enamines because of the lone pair on the nitrogen are uh, nucleophiles like enols and enolates and it just so happens fortuitously that enamines prefer to attack I want to like on pair. Here we go. At the beta position, and not the alpha position. 
And what this gives us now our nitrogen is positively charged. We have this enolate over here. Gives us this intermediate that once we acidify and you know water and acid will both you know deal with all of the charge things or deal with the the anion but also hydrolyze the enolate or i'm sorry hydrolyze what's left of the enamine back to the ketone ketone other ketone and here this is how we get the product that we wanted. And I am not going to put any time into uh, explaining how the, the hydrolysis of these things work. Uh, it is a, I have really messed up my cyclohexene. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, it is a, a mechanism that you've probably encountered before. So generally, uh, to summarize what this forward process looks like, uh, we started with cyclohexanone, and we reacted it one with the dialkylamine, and I'm going to just sort of abbreviate it here uh, for the sake of squishing everything down. Oh, come on. I fixed all of this. Yep. Uh, and then two, we react it with uh, our electrophile. Oops, I need my ketone on cyclohexanone here. We react it with our carbonyl electrophile. And then three, we, acidify, we do an aqueous acid workup. It is as simple as this, and we get the product. There we go. It's my arrow. All right. So this concludes my video on the stork enamine synthesis. And it's worth noting that enamines are nucleophiles and react with other kinds of electrophiles as well, but this is just one sort of uh, cool workaround uh, for using them here. Right. Thank you for watching.